we were talking about Stryker, there's a Grimlock beside us. But this is not just any Grimlock. Uh, Boris, why don't you explain what kind of Grimlock we have here? It's a very, very special Grimlock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll tell you why. I mean, some of the fans watching uh, may have heard of uh, Incline uh, Designs. Uh, a guy by the name of Dave Morgan. Super cool guy, by the way. Love hanging out with him. He stopped by our store uh, about a couple weeks ago. He dropped off uh, a custom piece that I've been wanting him to do for me for a long, long time. He's done Grimlock before, I know. Uh, so some of you that are familiar might have seen something done before. Um, but I kind of wanted my own piece commissioned. This is the fruits of his labor. For those of you who aren't, you know, uh, too into the customizing or know too much about it, um, it does take a lot of time to do the customizing. And as you know, uh, anyone that has seen the Masterpiece Grimlock, um, you'll notice there's some very big differences with the paint. Um, if you take a look at, for example, his chest alone, um, look at all the detail that's gone into the dry brushing, um, you know. Dave has pulled everything apart and, you know, left no area untouched. The Autobot symbol, you know, everything in here has been painted. Obviously, he's just dry brushed the whole entire gold scheme on his chest. So that's kind of one of the highlights. Uh, definitely all the battle damage that he's put on there. Great detail. Another detail that I love that he's put on this <coughs> custom figure is these teeth uh, in the Grimlock's mask. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, he's, he's done quite a bit of work and uh, this whole piece is done um, with airbrushing, uh, dry brushing as well, so variety of techniques he's done. And, and then with the battle damage and as well as uh, just customizing some pieces for it, he's even touched upon those a little bit. Um, and of course there's Predaking's head, what a, what a great addition to the story. He's really left, you know, no stone unturned here um, as he take a look he's you know and this fully transformable of course I, I just love it in robot mode so I'm leaving it like that um, but you know he's done he's taken apart everything done all the detail within there so I mean those who customize know that even if you knew and are great at doing airbrushing and dry brushing the amount of time that it takes to really hit every detail like this and have an imagination to to think of what to do is you know hard to find and hard to do, hard to pull off. You'll see even little slick spots here where he's made it kind of look like oils drip down from the, the battle scenes. Um, things like, you know, heating up the Grimlock and punching it with another robot's fist to kind of give that little fist impression and an indent. These are things that, you know, we, we take for granted a lot, but, you know, once you see this beside, uh, original Masterpiece Grimlock, you really do see how many points that Dave uh, has covered and you know I know there are a lot of customizers out there that are really really good um, but you know wow you know my hats off to uh, Incline for sure on this piece um, really love it and this is not the only piece that he's done obviously uh, he's done a lot of great pieces you really have to go onto his site to really really appreciate the amount of work that he's done in customizing Transformers. I mean, he's had stuff where he's fitted LED lighting, everything. He goes kind of like this step beyond and really spends that time that, to really give his robots uh, this kind of character. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend going to his site, checking it out. Uh, it's inclinedesigns.com, that's designs plural, .com, and I'm sure uh, Alex will uh, Check that out on the, the label there. I highly recommend you check out his stuff. I don't know if he's taking any commissions right now. Yeah, probably not, he's really booked up. But nevertheless, just for some eye candy, please go to his site and check out his portfolio. Um, I mean, I spent hours on it. Uh, really, really into his stuff. Uh, love it. Okay. Just so you can see, it is the same mold, but you'll notice there's some differences here. Okay. Um, you notice there's a much darker 